Hi and welcome to Dr. Anima Upadhyay's Chemistry in Technology and Chemistry Lab videos. In this video, we will discuss about the determination of flesh and fire point using Cleveland Open Cup Apparatus. I have already discussed with you the determination of flesh and fire point using Bensky Martin and Abel's closed cup apparatus in my previous videos. For reference, I will give you the link in the description box so that you can watch those videos and learn the determination of flesh and fire point using Abel's and Bensky Martin apparatus. But before I start this video, I would like you to please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it so far and also to like and share my videos. So let's begin with the Cleveland Open Cup apparatus. Before I begin this video, I would like you to tell that this apparatus is open cup. There is no lid provided on the brass cup containing the lubricating oil and therefore the results obtained with the help of Cleveland apparatus are 20 to 60 degrees centigrade higher than the actual results. Now let's see how the apparatus is constructed. It's a simple construction where a brass cup provided in, with a mark is supported on a cast iron plate with an opening provided with an asbestos sheet. And this asbestos sheet has a hole in which the brass cup fix exactly so that there is no gap left. This hole is fitted with an electric heater to heat the oil in the cup. The apparatus is fitted with a clamp to fix the thermometer to record the temperature which also acts as the stirrer. On the other side is a movable holder for the flame which could be brought near the heated oil after every degree rise in temperature. So the construction is very very simple. Now let's see how this apparatus works. So whenever we are performing an experiment using Cleveland open cup apparatus, the oil is first taken in the brass cup up to the mark. It is then kept on the heater uh, which is fitted with an asbestos sheet in the hole provided to place the brass cup. The thermometer is then placed in the clamp which also acts as the stirrer and the thermometer should be placed in such a way that it should not touch the bottom of the cup. The heater is then started and the rate of heating is kept around 4 to 5 degrees centigrade per minute. With every degree rise in temperature the flame is brought with the help of flame holder near the oil. The temperature at which a flesh is seen with a little rattling sound is recorded as the flesh point. In degree centigrade, the oil is heated further till a flame is seen burning for at least 5 seconds and this temperature is recorded as fire point. In degree centigrade. The precautions that should be taken while performing 
an experiment on Cleveland apparatus are that there should not be any air in the laboratory. That means the fans should be switched off. Also, they should not be breathing over the proximity of the oil. So, too many people should not work together on the apparatus to determine the flesh and fire point. It may disturb the vapors of the heated oil. How to record the observations is shown here in the table. So, the temperature at which the spark was seen is recorded as the flash point which is around 82 degree centigrade and the oil was heated further till a flame was observed burning for at least 5 seconds and this was recorded as fire point which was 98 degree centigrade and the results was then mentioned as I have shown here using the Cleveland open cup apparatus. The table is the same as we have used in the determination of flesh and fire point using closed cup apparatus. Now let's see how the closed cup apparatus differs from the open cup apparatus. So in the closed cup apparatus, the results which are recorded are accurate as the cup is closed with the lid. Whereas in the open cup apparatus, the results are around 20 to 60 degrees centigrade higher than the actual results. Oils with both low and high flesh and fire point can be determined with accuracy using closed cup apparatus as we have options of both direct heating and indirect heating of the oil using Penske Martin as direct heating apparatus and Abel's as indirectly heating apparatus using the water bath. But in the open cup apparatus, the oils which have very high flesh and fire point can only be measured using the Cleveland open cup apparatus as there is only directly heating of the oil. In the closed cup apparatus, the cup is provided with a stirrer, whether it is direct heating or indirect heating. In both the options, the cup is provided with the stirrer. Whereas in the open cup apparatus, the stirrer is not provided. We have to use the thermometer only as the stirring device. Now let's see the examples of closed cup apparatus. The Abel's and the Pansky Martin apparatus are the two examples where the Abel's apparatus is indirectly heating apparatus and can be used for the determination of flesh and fire point of the lubricating oils which are low. Whereas the Pansky Martin apparatus is a directly heating apparatus and this can be employed for the determination of flesh and fire point of the lubricating oils which have high flesh and fire point. The example for open cup apparatus is Cleveland apparatus where the lubricating oils having high flesh and fire point only can be determined that too the results will be 20 to 60 degree centigrade higher than the actual results. So these are the differences between the closed cup and the open cup apparatus along with their examples. I have completed all the three types of apparatus that is Abel's, Pensky Martin and Cleveland apparatus. 
I hope this will give you a good idea if you are working in the lab for testing the lubricating oil for the determination of their flesh and fire point using any of these apparatus. Keep watching my videos. Don't forget to like and share these videos and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.